Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to solve the practice problem number divisors. So first we would understand the question and then we would solve it. So let's start. Basically in this question we are given a value of n. One minute. n is for example 6. Step number 1 is to find the factors for n. So the factors for this would be 1, 2, 3 and 6. Right. Now among these 4 factors I need to find the factors which are divisible by 3. Okay. So this is divisible by 3. This is also divisible by 3. Okay. Now basically 2 among the 4 divide, uh, factors are divisible by 3. Right. So, my output would be 2. Okay. So, this is the question. Step number 1 is to find the factors. Then among the factors, I need to find the factors which are divisible by 3. Okay. And then I need to print the output of count for those factors. I hope the question is clear to you. Now, let us move forward to the solution. First step is you need to go to the practice portal. In practice portal in the difficulty section, choose school. Okay. After choosing school, you need to find the problem number of divisors. Once you find the problem, you need to click on solve. Okay. So, let us solve the problem. Okay. Now, let us read the question. Given an integer n, find the number of divisors of n that are divisible by 3. Okay. I hope the question is clear to you. Now, we would be coding it over here. Okay. So, let us start. One minute. Okay. So, first thing is I would declare a variable cnt equal to 0. Okay. Initially count is 0. Then I would start a for loop. Okay. For int i equal to 1 semicolon i star i less than equal to n semicolon i plus plus. Curly bracket enter. Okay. Now over here is n modulus i. Okay. n modulus i equal equal to 0. Again curly bracket enter. Okay. Now this time if i equal equal n divisible by i. Now next is curly bracket enter. Over here is i modulus 3 equal equal to 0 that means the remainder is 0 then enter cnt plus plus ok now come over here enter else curly bracket enter over here it is if i modulus 3 equal equal 0 then enter cnt plus plus enter enter if next condition is if n slash i modulus 3 equal equal 0 then enter cnt plus plus. Now I have made a mistake I did not add semicolon at some places so I am adding it ok. 1 minute cnt ok. Now finally I need to come out with 1 2 3 enter return count ok. Now, I need to check if the solution is correct or not. So, I would click on compile and run. Let us wait. Compilation is completed. My output is matching with the expected output. You can see that. Now, I would submit the problem. Okay. Let us wait. Problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem number of devices. I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.